All right. We're in the uh, Highlands tournament, Monday's practice round in the rookie division in my 77 count. I'm just, and I literally am practicing today. So today's just a practice day. Trying to figure out, trying to get a, a look at him, and I'm probably, and I'm going to stream. My goal is to, or my plan is, is to stream when I get done with this, and I'm going to play my 70 or my odd odd, my 99 account. I just wanted to get some individual videos for each one of the holes. So these are the Greenwich Point holes, and we're on Greenwich Point hole number two. Dose. All right, I'm taking the black line, and I'm coming in here with a kingmaker, and I'm going to do five and a half ish topspin, and I'm going to do I'm going to do an adjustment here. I'm going to do I'm going to do at least a ten percent. I'm going to start off with a ten percent adjustment, so I'm going to do a plus ten percent, and I'm going to work from there. Because in the past, what's happened is, is I get an inconsistent landing over on the other side. And I think the reason is, is because one time we have 3-5 win and the next time we have 4-4 four, four win. And so I'm adjusting it out correctly, but it's getting pushed farther forward or back just depending on the win. And so what's happening on the other end is, you know, I'm landing out here fine, but on the, on the green side, I'm getting inconsistent results. Sometimes I'm getting stuck in the rough. Sometimes I'm going past. Sometimes I'm on the green and I'm on a putt. And I'm trying to standardize that. And I think the deal is, is that there's a wind adjustment on the drive and I just haven't been doing it. So we're going to start with 10. Try and get out there. I want to take an extra mile. And you can do this with a, we're only using five and a half top spin. So extra mile eight, extra mile seven's got four and a half, maybe a little bit bigger ball instead of a three power ball, bring in a four power ball, whatever you have to bring on this hole. So you don't have to do overpower. I mean, that's the deal. So wherever your clubs are at, that's, Playdemic is a ball manufacturer and they set these holes up so that some of these holes, that's the thing. You can you can bitch about having lower developed clubs because we've all had lower developed clubs and they and they, you know, you just gotta deal with it. But sometimes you can compensate for that, especially on these par fours, by just bringing out a bigger ball. And then bam, you're in the same spot. It's the same shot setup. That's why I always cringe when I see people out there and they're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Some ball package just came out and they bought a $5 pack or a $20 pack or a $100 pack or whatever it is they bought. And they're out there burning those balls, playing two or three, playing some power five ball. And I'm wishing that there was a forfeit button so that I could get that ball. Because I know that sooner or later, now a lot of times people have so many balls that this doesn't matter because they're constantly buying $100 packs. But Sooner or later, that person is going to get to a point where they're going to go, damn, I wish I had a five power ball. I wish I had that ball. And they had a bunch of them and they wasted them one-on-one. -on -one. The open. The wind's going with us. And I'm going to start off with a 10%. I'm trying to do a second bounce rough bump. I really want to focus on where, ooh, that's not going to be good. Not good. Okay, I want to give myself at least two rings of separation. There's three, four, five and a half. It's two nine, so that's three, so that's three three. And there's three one and a half. So that's just a smidgen over a ring and a half. And I'm gonna put a little bit of curl in it just to bring it back towards the cup. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if we get the bleed out that I'm looking for. It's important to clip and roll out. That's what I'm looking for right there. And I want that same consistent thing over and over and over and over and over again. Let's see if my opponent can get in from here. The, 
the other par four, there's two par fours in this in Greenwich Point that we need to get eagles on. And the other one they've just changed. And I played it twice. I tried a max curl shot on the left with a with a rock. Excuse me. And I clipped the trees. I actually tried to go around the back side of the trees and come through them and ended up clipping one of the trees on a max curl shot. But I, I'm pretty sure I would have been on in one, but but you can't use that much curl. And the only way you could have got on from that spot was curl. But there is a new shot now because of the reconfiguration of the fairways where you can hit it straight forward and go right at it with a big topper or an extra mile. All right. That was an eagle. I do need to start missing some of these, but it felt wrong missing that eagle. <laughs> All right, that was hole number two of the Highlands Tournament and Monday's practice round in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.